Hello everyone, this is Pampi Murandante again and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will talk about another method of performing this concept using logarithms. Okay, here we go. So here's the problem. Simplify the given expression using logarithms. 4 squared times 25.4 divided by the square root of 124. So the first thing that we are going to do is to compute this value using the calculator. So here we go. So this is the value. Can You can, you can just check anywhere here in the presentation. Uh, where I'm going to um, show the computation using the calculator and uh, after which we are going to show the computation computation using the logarithms and we are going to compare the values if what we are doing is correct or not okay so that's it as you can see that the value of this expression in the calculator is approximated to two decimal places which is 36.50 and now our task is to simplify this using logarithms okay First thing is we are going to check the numerator and we have here which is 4 squared. So we are what we are going to do is just to get the logarithm of the base and whatever is the exponent we are going to multiply it to the logarithm of the base. So this is what you're going to do now. It's 2 times the log of 4. Okay? So that's how are you going to do this if there is an exponent. Just simply multiply the power to the logarithm of the base so there you go the next one this one is just 25.4 just simply get the log of 25.4 then after that is we are going to put a grouping symbols for these two expressions and then oops i forgot to explain about multiplication here and remember in logarithms multiplication becomes addition okay the next thing to do is to work on the denominator so since it's division so the inverse for that if it's division then you are going to subtract it okay so you are going to subtract the denominator but look at the denominator here it's the square root of 124 and this square root of 124 is also expressed in the form 124 to the power of one half remember this radical expression so this is represented in an exponential form to the power of one half Okay, so in that case, we are just going to get the lag of 124, the base, and then we're just going to multiply the exponent, which is 1 half. Okay, so that's how you do that. Next one. Okay, our next thing to do now is to simplify these expressions here using logarithms. So we'll make use of the calculator and I'll be uh, attaching here in the video how are we going to find out the values of these logarithms. Okay, so the first thing here is... Uh, 2 times the log of 4 so the log of 4 it should be 0 0.6021 0 0 because the next 0, 0, 0 here is 5 so we add up 1 to 0 and the log of 25.4 which is 1.4048 in 4 decimal places again we have to observe 4 decimal places okay and then we have to group that one together and on the other side the log of 124 is 2.0934 okay okay so here's the next thing to do is we are going to simplify the expression inside the grouping symbol so 2 times 0 0.6021 that's equal to 1.2042 and bring, them, bring down this 1.4048 and then multiply 1 half by 2.0934 and that's equal to 1.4.0467 then bring down minus and the answer for this sum here is 2.6090 and then bring down the other value so that is equal to 1.5623 i'll be showing here the calculations in the calculator okay so just observe that and this value now will be expressed as the exponent of 10 so we are getting now the anti-log okay so 10 to the power of 1.5623 we approximate the value into two decimal places now so there you go it's 36.5 and that is equal to the value above which is 36.5 okay thank you so much for watching and i hope you understand that don't forget to like and subscribe bye